there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, October 4th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and here's a look at the tropics early on this Sunday morning, starting off uh, with uh, Tropical Storm Gamma there over um, the northern coast of the Yucatan uh, early this morning, a tropical storm uh, emerging into the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to take a path sort of a, in a, as we'll see in a minute, sort of in a west-southwesterly direction as we see a big uh, ridge of high pressure develop across the eastern United States and uh, that will drive it into the Bay of Campeche. Uh, encountering uh, wind shear as it goes, it shouldn't uh, uh, increase any further. I think we've seen about all the strengthening, well, we may see a little bit, but probably not much more strengthening out of gamma, not going to be much stronger than it is right now. We're watching one other disturbance here uh, in the Central Caribbean. This system's going to push to the northwest and toward the uh, southern Gulf of Mexico also, and it has a fairly high probability of becoming Tropical Storm Delta, according to the National Hurricane Center, as it uh, makes that uh, trek over the next few days. We'll be watching uh, that, of course, very carefully. Here's the uh, official forecast track and cone from the National Hurricane Center on Tropical Storm Gamma, uh, emerging into the Gulf, turning to the southwest, as we said, and possibly dissipating. It's hard to say exactly what's going to happen with Gamma when it uh, gets out there, but over the uh, continental United States, really North America, um, early this morning, we see a big trough of low pressure uh, now digging through the Midwest, and um, that's pushing toward Alabama, uh, as you would expect. It's got a front uh, heading along with it. We can see Gamma down here uh, in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, but here in Alabama, we're fairly high and dry, and that should be the case for the next several days. It's going to be a beautiful day across Alabama today. Take yesterday at about four degrees of temperature and a few uh, scattered clouds, and that's what you'll get. So about a perfect day. Yesterday highs uh, in the lower middle 70s will be middle upper 70s today, as you can see here, calling for 80 in Tuscaloosa, probably 78 in Birmingham, middle 70s in the Tennessee Valley. That's with scattered clouds and um, low humidity, so it should be just a beautiful day. Now, the forecast is a little uncertain, but I'm going to use the GFS because I think it approximates um, most closely what I think is going to happen over the next seven days. And um, we'll start off on Monday. Start off in the morning, uh uh, partly cloudy and cool overnight lows tonight uh, upper 40s to near 50 uh, lower 50s over south central alabama by noon tomorrow you can see we've got a big ridge of high pressure um, right here uh, ridging down from the northeast over um, much of the uh, ohio valley tennessee valley into the arkla mix you can see uh, down here we see um, tropical storm gamma moving uh, slowly to the southwest. And we can see our system in the Caribbean uh, continuing to push to the northwest. We'll be tracking both of those systems very carefully. But here in Alabama, we're high and dry. Another beautiful day uh, here in the state. We'll see uh, afternoon highs topping out, um, you know, probably in the middle 70s, behind that front that'll be moving through uh, in central Alabama, lower 70s to the north. Uh, might not get out of the upper 60s in a few of the normally colder locations. But I think lower 70s is generally the trend. Uh, upper 70s over south central Alabama. Now, by Tuesday, uh, Gamma continues that track to the southwest. Our system uh, uh, there in the Caribbean is moving over Cuba, getting ready to move into the uh, Gulf of Mexico. But here in Alabama, we continue to be high and dry. We'll be... Um, Pushing back toward 80 degrees as a big ridge of high pressure builds over us. Heights will be rising. Temperatures will be increasing. Wednesday, more of the same. We'll be in the middle 80s by Wednesday across much of the state, uh, upper 80s to the south. So be, by that time, it'll be getting quite warm. Now, you'll see by this time, we'll have some showers moving into the eastern parts of the panhandle. 
most of the Alabama, northwest Florida coast that's still dry here in Alabama, we're still high and dry for sure. Um, we'll be in the 80s for highs. Thursday, still more of the same. Lower 80s for highs, a northerly wind here. Uh, that uh, At that time, it looks like we'll be looking at um, what will be gamma down here over the uh, Bay of Campeche and what probably would be delta, although it could be a good bit stronger than this south of the Louisiana coast. Some showers um, still uh, affecting the uh, northwest Florida coast into portions of South Alabama and coastal Alabama as well um, as we um, get into Thursday. Now by Friday, um, it looks like the system over the Gulf uh, Delta would be south of the Louisiana coast. Uh, moisture fetch up into uh, South Alabama, Louisiana, southern Mississippi, uh, some showers getting into central Alabama by Friday, so we'll introduce rain chances back into the forecast by then. What's left of gammas down here uh, somewhere over the Bay of Campeche, if it still exists at all at that point, uh, shouldn't be anything to worry about at that time. There could be some interaction between those two systems. Then by Saturday, it looks like uh, uh, Delta would be turning to the north and northeast at that point or at least uh, moving inland on the Louisiana coast right here. Here in Alabama, we've got some showers in our area, still a weakness over the southern Gulf of Mexico. will be um, uh, nothing to worry about at that time. By Sunday, high pressure begins to build back in, a few lingering showers over Alabama. Uh, mild temperatures continue. We'll be in the middle 70s Saturday, probably middle and lower 70s on Sunday, and uh, not too bad. Um, for this time of year, pretty typical uh, for October. Now, going out toward the end of the period, this is Sunday, October the 18th. Um, high pressure continues to be in charge. few fronts are making it through, but they're fairly moisture-starved. This one is one of those. Uh, not much in the way of showers, weakening as it comes. Uh, so we'll probably see a slight chance of showers on that Sunday the 18th. These are temperatures off the National Blend of Models. Uh, showing uh, kind of what we talked about there. Upper 70s on Monday will be in the 80s on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Back in the 70s for the weekend and for the foreseeable future after that. Overnight low is going to gradually warm from the uh, 50s early in the week to uh, back in the uh, 60s as we get toward the end of the weekend. The weekend rainfall totals off of uh, from the WPC. Uh, not very generous, uh, generally less than a quarter inch over North Alabama, parts of Northeast Alabama even less than a tenth of an inch, while uh, areas across Central Alabama could see half to three quarters of an inch. Parts of South Alabama could see a little bit more as the uh, system that appears to be Delta eventually moves toward Louisiana. Weather Brains, the weekly netcast is all about weather. Be talking to famous Texas meteorologist Lon Curtis tomorrow night. Fine gentleman. Lots of nice stories. Um, we'll uh, enjoy talking to Lon uh, on the show on Monday nights. You can catch us all the uh, normal places uh, for the audio podcast. Of course, you can always see the show live on YouTube. You can see it at live.bigbrainsmedia.com, and you can always see it on the Digital.2 channel. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, October the 4th. I'll have notes on the blog, have an update on the forecast coming up around noon, along with uh, updates throughout the day on uh, Tropical Storm Gamma and uh, Invest 92L moving through the Caribbean that promises to eventually be uh, I think it'll be our 26th depression of the year. We had 24 named storms, and it uh, would be Tropical Storm Delta if it eventually reaches Tropical Storm Strength. But until I talk to you again next Sunday, as I always tell you, to, uh, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.